I've reported on this, guys, many times, but it's it's really, really nice to see the mainstream media reporting this news, which is incredibly relevant to EV buyers. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you to our Patreon supporters for supporting the channel and YouTube members as well. Now, this is... Um, one of those situations where the mainstream media, to be honest, they've been bagging the heck out of EVs this year, trying to really slow down uptake because, of course, who's making EVs? Tesla, Chinese manufacturers, they're the predominant manufacturers of EVs worldwide. So slow them down and we can stop these new car companies from taking our market share. But surprisingly, this report has been, well, it's been revealed in a few different publications. It says this, replacement electric car batteries are getting cheaper. And when I say cheaper, I mean they're getting significantly cheaper. Despite it, now here's what um, a report from drive.com that I use, probably the biggest media organization in Australia. They said a temporary spike in lithium prices in recent years. Um, despite that, data suggests the costs of replacing an electric car battery are declining. Now, the truth is, the cost of lithium has, or well, the price of lithium has gone down drastically. I mean, the reality here, guys, is currently the lithium price is lower than what it was, significantly lower than what it was two years ago. And as a result, the cost of replacing a battery in an EV is dropping significantly as the technology becomes much more widespread. Battery costs are often cited as a reason to avoid buying an EV. And a lot of people think that you're gonna to have to replace your battery soon. I see these comments from people saying, oh, you're gonna to have to replace your battery in five years time. I mean, do these people not know? They clearly don't know that every manufacturer in the world that I'm aware of has an eight year battery warranty. So the battery has to have, for most manufacturers, the battery has to have a minimum of 70% of its original capacity after eight years of ownership. Meaning, no, you don't have to replace the battery after five years. Could you after eight years? It's possible. Very unlikely. The reality here, guys, is that by the time, if you were to buy a new EV today, or say an EV that's one or two years old, by the time you do need to replace the battery in maybe 15 or potentially even 20 years time, the price will be incredibly low. Replacing the battery in an EV today only occurs in 2.5% of cases within a recent study. The majority of instances were occurring in first generation EVs um, that were approximately 14 years old. So 2.5% of EVs that were 14 years old had their battery pack replaced at some point in time. Most of them were covered under warranty. According to this report, a 2019 study by the Mack Institute for Innovation Management at the Wharton School for Business found EV batteries have declined 16% in price between 2007 and 2019 costing an average of US $161 per kilowatt hour. Um, that was back in 2019. That's $241 in Australia. That price though is drastically lower today. By late 2020, says Drive, the average price of a battery had dropped to US $137 per kilowatt hour. And then that trend, well, it continued. In 2021, the price of lithium actually rose sharply. In 2022, it dropped enormously, and well, it dropped around 20% again in 2023. Since then, the price has remained around the same. As a result, battery pack prices have continued to come down. Now, not as a result just of you know, the price of lithium, but mass manufacturing these batteries, I'm talking massive production lines, huge gigafactories making batteries, this has meant battery pack prices have come down significantly. Prices for replacing a battery in a first generation Nissan Leaf in North America dropped to US $5,000 for a 40 kilowatt hour battery in 2020. That equated to $137 per kilowatt hour. Now, apparently for the Nissan Leaf, the, prices, the price of their batteries has risen to US $12,000. That includes labor to, to basically, if you've got a Nissan Leaf, you go to Nissan and it's, it's a really old Leaf and you need to replace the battery, they'll do it for you for $12,000. Now you'd be crazy to do that. That just doesn't make any sense. Uh, realistically, the truth is you'd be better off just getting a different car, um, probably recycling that battery. However, 
For BMW i3 used batteries, uh, they, they cost around $145 per kilowatt hour. They're a bit more expensive than what the actual cells cost. And the reason I say this is because recent data cited by the report says that Tesla Model 3 batteries currently sell for US $133 per kilowatt hour. Now, the trends show declining cost in battery pack prices. Now, these are prices at the pack level. But if we're looking at the prices at the cell level, prices at the cell level have come down much, much more. In fact, recent reports from Cadel, well, basically Chinese manufacturers, CATL, BYD, say that their battery prices have come down to around US $60 per kilowatt hour. That means that the price of batteries has declined by probably 85% over the past 10 years. And that's the reason why we're now seeing EVs in Australia and many countries on parity with internal combustion vehicles. For example, the Great Wall Motors Aura EV, that costs about the same as a Toyota Corolla, as does the BYD Dolphin. And the truth is they're much more modern cars with much better software than a Toyota Corolla. So realistically, in many places, including China, the price of EVs now is on par for many models across many segments, not all segments. Pickup trucks, for example, are more expensive because they have huge batteries. But in general, vehicles smaller than that, the price is at about parity with internal combustion. And that's thanks to mass manufacturing battery packs. It's thanks to maturing of the EV industry. This will change rapidly though. I mean, experts are saying by 2030, the cost of batteries will be half what it is today. Energy density will continue to go up. That's another factor driving down the cost in battery prices. The energy density of a single cell, if that increases, it doesn't cost any more money to make that cell generally, but you're getting more power out of that single cell. That has driven a decline in cost. And we're seeing this year, Many manufacturers have revealed their latest generation batteries, which have significantly higher energy density than the previous generation batteries. By the time you actually go to replace your battery pack, if you ever needed to, you might not ever need to. In fact, most of the time your battery is going to outlive the life of your car. But let's say something weird happened. Your car was in a flood and maybe the battery got damaged and you did decide to just replace the whole pack, which most people wouldn't do. You'd have to replace the cells that were damaged. But let's just say you did, right? The price of the battery pack at that time will probably be half of what it is today because the energy density will be higher. You probably only need a much smaller battery pack than what your car currently has. So let's say your existing car has a 60 kilowatt hour battery. By the time you might replace it in say 2035, you might only need a 35 kilowatt hour battery pack to get the same amount of range. Or you could replace it with the same size battery pack and get potentially double the amount of range you're getting today. Now you can't say any of that kind of thing about internal combustion engines. Now here's the thing, let's say you did replace your battery pack in 10 years time or 20 years time, you can recycle that old battery pack for a huge amount of money. Battery packs are crushed into a fine powder called black mass. Just crushed up, that's all they do to them. And then they recycle them. But that black powder called black mass is worth 10,000 US dollars per kilogram. So never ever give away your old damaged battery pack because it's worth a lot of money. Unlike an old engine, which is worth precisely nothing. Thanks for watching.